Hello and welcome to the weekly edition of After the Bell. This is the web-based program that gives you details on the close of stocks at the Nigerian capital markets. This week, the All Share Index closed below 22,000 psychological lines. The beers took dominance of activities in a row for the fourth week with unprofitable transactions. Throughout the week, the market closed negative with the first trading session projecting declines by 0.24%. Selling activities outweighed quest for bargains as the key benchmark indices dropped by 0.46%. And now we take a good look at the details. This week, the key market indicator or share index slipped by 1.21% to close at 21,963.87. Market capitalization declined by 85.62 billion naira to close at 7 trillion naira. Amongst chiefly traded stocks in the week, Transcor PLC, Guarantee Trust Bank and First Bank PLC ranked top. Transcor in 504 trades made a total value of 272.43 billion naira. A quick look at the sectoral grades shows the financial services sector leads with 737.80 million units of stocks. The market in the week had a total volume of 1.3 billion units, while the value amounted to 9.45 billion naira. The five sectoral indexes had depreciations in almost all the sectors. With 3.27%, the banking sector lost its previous momentum as the oil and gas alone appreciated by 0.14%. The market this week had 23 gainers, but closed with 36 decliners. May and Baker PLC gained the most by 14.63% at a price of 1 Naira 41 Kobo. Fitzin made 8 Kobo additions, and the international breweries closed at 5 Naira 84 Kobo. For the decliners, FCMB PLC leads with 15.29% decrease in price, Nascon lost 69 Kobo, and Smallfeet PLC closed at 99 Kobo. In the week, 10 companies declared their corporate results. Fidelity Bank in its quarter one results for the period ended March 31, 2012, realized a commendable profit after tax of 3.40 billion naira. MRS Oil PLC turned over in gross earnings the sum of 19.17 billion naira. Various news and notices on companies are available on our news and features page. You can also take a look at the detailed and text version of this market report waiting for you on the same part of the website. But as you take a break this weekend and whatever you do, keep giving your stocks the long-term investment approach. This has been After the Bell from ProShare. Do join us next week for more.